So Florida fly fishing schools is the saltwater version of the school we started in 99 in Atlanta. The uh, Atlanta fly fishing school. Been teaching up there for 11 years now. And it's really way more passion, way more passion than it is business. But we really enjoy introducing people to fly fishing. And uh, man, I just got hooked on saltwater fly fishing. I was running back and forth, wearing out the road from Atlanta. I got to the point where I just left my boat in Mount Lachey and was boatless back home. And finally just made the jump and came down here. And like a lot of people who learned how to fly fish in the uh, streams and freshwater, they really don't know what to do when they get down to the salt. They come down here on vacation and, and uh, they don't understand tides, they don't understand dealing with the wind, having to make speed casts to cruise and fish. Uh, so our goal here is just to help people to learn how to fly fish in salt water. And it's just been a ton of fun. This is our third year here and uh, it's going great, having a good time. So the way it works is um, we have a one day, two day, or a three day school. People can join us for any amount of it. Day one is a fly fishing class and a fly fishing class a lot of classroom, but it's hands-on, fast-paced, interactive. We're learning to tie knots and make leaders and making choices about buying rods and reels. And There's PowerPoints, there's videos, there's notes, but it's a lot of classroom. It's learning your tippets and your coding and, you know, what's a weight forward eight sinking line and, you know, just introducing people to the sport. Day two is the casting school. We're outside, day two's recess. We, uh, we learn how to deal with the wind, we learn how to make longer casts, we learn how to make speed casts. We hook up the scales so people can learn how much pressure they're putting on a rod uh, and how to fight fish. Uh, it's, it's pretty funny when we get people out here, get the IBMer types pretending they're the fish and running across the yard, you know, and somebody else fighting them. And so it's a good time on the casting school. And then day three, if you choose to do it, you're out for a half day with the guy, putting those skills to work. So day one's classroom, day two's casting, and day three is on the water. And then we have guides here on the island that we recommend that uh, if you want to extend your trip, extend your stay, and go fishing a few more days, you can do that.